The New Jersey Department of Community Affairs was created in response to a crisis, a crisis resulting from the inability of hard-pressed communities to cope with the paradox of simultaneous growth and decay. In communities across New Jersey, the 1960s marked an era of social unrest and change. The state's population increased by 1.1 million people. By 1970, we had become the nation's most densely populated state and, as a result of demographic shifts, local governments struggled to maintain stability with limited resources. Race riots shook Jersey City, Patterson, and Elizabeth in 1964, then Newark and Plainfield in 1967. New Jersey was not alone. 125 cities experienced riots in 1967, but one of the most violent and destructive took place in Newark. Segregation in substandard housing, incidents of police brutality, and little influence on local decision-making incubated tensions that simmered in the July heat. The fires and looting caused more than $10 million in property damage. National Guardsmen and state troopers were mobilized to respond to the lawlessness, some of whom acted with excessive force. When it was over, 26 people were dead and 1,000 injured. In the midst of discontent and conflict in inner city neighborhoods across the country, the Department of Community Affairs Act of 1966 gave New Jersey one of the nation's first departments specifically created to respond to the state's changing landscape and to administer new federally funded programs designed to address the underlying causes of the urban upheaval. In order to garner funding available under the War on Poverty programs and better coordinate state assistance to communities, DCA was configured in part by consolidating existing state offices that provided services and aid directed at combating poverty, mobilizing resources in furtherance of community development projects, conducting research and providing guidance on best practices to local officials with respect to taxation, fiscal affairs, governmental organization, community planning, purchasing, and intergovernmental cooperation. The New Jersey Office of Economic Opportunity the divisions of local finance, housing and urban renewal, state and regional planning, the divisions on aging, women and youth were transferred from other departments and the Office of Community Services was created. DCA officially began its operations on March 1, 1967. Leading the new organization was Dr. Paul N. Ilvesacker. An urban planner, he was interested in urban issues and spearheaded a Ford Foundation investigation into the physical and social problems of urban decay, served on President Johnson's task force on the city, and contributed significantly to the development in 1966 of the Federal Model Cities Initiative. Under Commissioner Ilvesacker, DCA was positioned to be the logical recipient of many of the federal grant programs associated with President Johnson's War on Poverty. One of the most original and enduring of those is the Community Action Program, which was devised to help residents of low-income communities find a path out of poverty by providing an array of services that fostered self-sufficiency blended with a voice in determining what those services would be. It is the only War on Poverty program that is still federally funded and still administered by the DCA. In order to address the physical decay occurring in cities, it was necessary to plan more efficiently build decent housing at prices affordable to low-income residents and strengthen efforts to make those communities safer. The operations of public housing in the community ought to be looked at and even in the normal chain of events this would have become a partly a, an interest responsibility of this new Department of Community Affairs. As you know this last legislative session a number of uh, measures were introduced and passed which have put us more and more into the housing business and we've been looking forward to working with community groups. From that point on, DCA has forged the path that was envisioned for it in 1966. Over 50 years, DCA has evolved as attitudes, conditions, and economics changed. But its determination to address new challenges and explore opportunities for growth and improvement has never been stronger. DCA has always been committed to solving housing problems and improving resources for the state's communities. 
Two of its original tasks were to function as a state public housing authority and to adopt a standard building code for the state. Today, the Division of Housing and Community Resources provides rental and energy assistance for low-income families through the Housing Choice Voucher Program, the Universal Service Fund, and other initiatives. It also administers a variety of programs and grants that support community development and housing rehabilitation. Through the Lead Safe Home Remediation Pilot Grant Program, the division assists in providing lead safe remediation activities to reduce the lead hazards in New Jersey's housing stock. The division also advances best practices for housing for people with special needs through its initiatives for homeless veterans, people who are chronically homeless, families involved with the child welfare system, and young people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness, among others. The Division of Codes and Standards maintains a uniform construction code and a rehabilitation code that provide standards for construction and renovation of commercial, industrial, and residential buildings. The division also inspects more than one million hotels, motels, and multifamily dwellings, as well as rooming and boarding homes, all amusement park and carnival rides. It also provides training to every municipality empowering communities to keep their residents safe. Responding to the state's changing housing needs over the decades, the New Jersey Housing and Mortgage Finance Agency, an affiliate of DCA, has developed and administered innovative programs for individuals with special needs, first-time homeowners, and affordable housing developers since 1967. After the 2008 housing and financial crisis, it launched a new program to save homeowners from foreclosure. Strengthening communities by providing support and guidance to local governments has continued to be a major focus of the department and its affiliates. The Division of Local Government Services administers state aid and provides programs, training, and technical assistance to municipal officials, working to create transparent, safe, and efficient services for the public. With the local finance board, it oversees financial activities and ethics in local government. DCA, the Department of Community Affairs, also provides guidance through entities like the Government Records Council, which was formed in 2002 to resolve disputes regarding access to government records. Additionally, communities benefit from services that preserve their past and protect their future. The New Jersey Historic Trust has provided hundreds of millions of dollars in matching grants to help restore and rehabilitate historic properties, saving these landmarks for current residents and for generations to come. The Division of Fire Safety was created to serve as the central fire service agency in the state after a series of fatal fires in 1983. The division promotes public safety by implementing public education and firefighter training programs and developing and enforcing the state uniform fire code. DCA's mission and purpose is now and has always been very broad. It serves the complex needs of many people all over the state in ways that elected officials simply cannot do. From 1974 until 2012, DCA's Division on Women had a tremendous impact in its response to the changing roles and emerging concerns of women through assistance for displaced homemakers, job training, domestic violence crisis and prevention programs, and advocacies for public policy changes. The division's first statewide conference on women was held in 1973, one year before Patricia Sheehan became the first woman appointed as DCA commissioner. The Center for Hispanic Policy, Research, and Development 
was established in DCA in 1975 to engage Latino populations in public process through scholarships, internship programs, and a fellowship institute to promote leadership in college students. The center has continued its work as part of the Department of State since 2011. Since 1973, DCA has funded athletic programs for youths with physical disabilities through the Tournament of Champions and Special Olympics. Through the Division of Housing and Community Resources, DCA provides grants to municipalities to develop or expand their athletic and recreational programs for individuals with disabilities. DCA has always championed community planning. One of DCA's first and most ambitious projects was the 1969 establishment of the Hackensack Meadowlands Development Commission, later known as the New Jersey Meadowlands Commission. Its purpose, reclaiming and redeveloping 18,000 acres of marshland spread through 14 communities in Bergen and Hudson counties. The Division of State and Regional Planning produced guidelines and comments on timely issues that proved to be key, and sometimes controversial, turning points in the state's development, such as the preservation of the Pinelands, the allocation of fair housing obligations throughout New Jersey's communities, and the impact of casino development on Atlantic City. Today, the professional planners in the department's Office of Local Planning Services work to help improve the vibrancy and economic viability of small downtowns. The office is available to fulfill a variety of requests from municipal government, anything from crafting a master plan or an economic development plan to devising a bike walk path. They will draft zoning ordinances or implementation plans and anything else that will help municipalities of all sizes grow and improve community livability. Urban municipalities benefit from the assistance of the New Jersey Redevelopment Authority, formed in 1996 to leverage public and private resources for redevelopment. The Urban Enterprise Zone program, which moved to DCA in 2008, was created to foster the revitalization of designated urban communities and stimulate growth by incentivizing businesses to develop and secure private sector jobs. Before Superstorm Sandy hit the New Jersey shore on October 29th, 2012, New Jersey hadn't experienced a massive natural disaster in decades. The state had dealt with powerful storms like Hurricane Irene in 2011, but Sandy was beyond anything New Jersey had ever imagined. There was no disaster recovery infrastructure in place and no disaster planning for a storm of Sandy's size and strength. DCA was tasked with spending approximately $4 billion in federal funds towards Sandy recovery for communities, businesses, and residents. A massive undertaking, unlike any the department had faced. In response, we created the Sandy Recovery Division. DCA has proven itself to be up to the challenge and New Jersey has been faster in its recovery efforts than any other state hit by Sandy. Through recovery programs administered by DCA, homeowners, renters, businesses, and property owners have been able to recover and rebuild, and communities have received assistance to help mitigate against future natural disasters. DCA was formed to face and overcome challenges and it has never stopped doing so across decades of social and economic change. The department has changed in some ways too, from the makeup of its divisions to its location. DCA unified its operations, previously spread across multiple locations, and moved to the South Broad and Front Street site in 1987, coming together to work more efficiently under one roof in the William Ashby Building. DCA has always been focused and will remain focused on meeting the needs of New Jersey residents and developing new programs and services to promote safe, strong, and diverse communities. I believe in the society. I believe, among other things, in its capacity for self-improvement. 